My name is Kitui Olive Mina. I'm the Vice Chairperson of Women Council, Kampala Central Division Council, and also a female councillor representing older persons and a chairperson gender welfare committee in the council. The most important thing about information flow is that people come to learn uh, information about uh, government programs. For instance, when they brought in the web program for the women, Minister of Gender, through community development, tried to bring it down to the grassroots women. See the, the uh, money, that program is out. Yes, people know because it, it deals with the community. Through the NADS program, when it was brought in Kampala Central Division, we, sens uh, we sensitized through Women Council, we sensitized 30 women fr from the grassroots in a growing mushroom. And uh, at, at least we were thinking of sensitizing 30 every financial year. And we are still doing that. So that's how we came in and constructed the mushroom house. It is called the Kampala Central Demonstration Center for Mushrooms. So that time we trained in Kamocha. Women got, got the training. We made mushrooms from start, from nothing, from the scratch. We made the mushroom garden. And we went through all the stages, which means we, we started for one week. Every day we were doing one stage at a go. And when we finished all those stages, we got the mushroom garden. We put, we put them in for coronation. So we left them there when they coronated. When we went back, we gave each woman five gardens to go with and you know, try to, to, to monitor and see how the mushroom can come out. And they did that. And from then, most of the women got mushrooms through nuts. And we also got a, a grant of nine million. Because it was 15 million, when you removed some taxes, it was for the whole of Kampala district. So we got that nine million and we constructed the house and the, the left of the, the money which remained, we bought the gardens from much India. Because of information flow, good information flow in my community, uh, there are so many CBOs, you may find at least at one village or zone, you find at least a number of three to four CBOs who are, already, who are women CBOs and already benefiting from uh, uh, things like CBD, where they get finances, grants of money, and they do projects as groups and they benefit from NADS. There, one benefits as an individual who has got a work point and where they are able to organize themselves and get that web money. Even they, it, it is a tapping point when they organize themselves to benefit from NGOs. Because when those people, uh, the, the NGOs come in our area, they want to meet those organized groups of women who have already started and they can always come for them and give them more money. Give them inputs and they can go on to work. And even this one has helped women to graduate from group work to work as individuals. Say if a woman has got a group where she gets, they, 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 they get a guarantee system and benefit from money, they, be, they get money 
here these banks will find that a woman can always graduate and leave the group and goes alone, get her own account and works alone in a project and this has helped our women to graduate and to work for particular families and to own projects as individuals. Nako bakama bange abatuletira amauli legano agokwe kula kulanya kakati ngabuta andikira ku bintu ebitono tono twasoka ne tukola obutiko tulina mu abavubuka mu kibina ne bakuba bloka zino tulina omulimu gwembizi sente zigenda nnyingi ezigule mmeri kati wo tufuna zino ne tugaba nako ne bwe Gutu gavani, zimu ne fugula si, mbe yembezi, kati ne tuta ambula wewe tutiyo. Kesi si, yatule tira, gadenizi. Kati ne tuba anga tuzi kola si, tuta ikamu, enva, enva ezo ira beba tuziwa. Na yelo akuba kati zimu zika diye tu genda kuzi jamu tuta ikemu empia. Na yenge yeye yendo kuvifuna, iwa mbakule mbeze balunji. Kwa wanga singa te baba bakule mbeze balunji, tetuwa liko zeji, tetuwa libifunye. Kati netu vifuna, netu taandiko kukulachi, okujira, okulima, atenga batu somesa. Niyeba kukubatu cha baba anja, tucha ayagale misomeera, ejitu nyikiza, kuongelo kula akulana, ngatufuna, ebisi inga kwa wano. Kwa wanga, Uwe tusobolo kuteka tucha alina u. Kakati elaba kule mbeza u. Tuba agala nye uwe nsonga. Uli akaba u batu uli lawa batu genda ku division. Uwe baba jawano. Kesisi na yu nesituka. Batu lambula de batu somesa. Kakati elaba malo kutu somesa. Mituba anga. Tusomebi mtuwebi. Nechirala. Tufunama uli li. Echo nchini nchikiza kuvanga watu wa amawuli le tumejia ku division ya bakuli mbizi owa mudi mo ina ba member owa tu jikuwa sanga wa we mo we mo we mo kuelelele nchini because of information our community here in Komamboga has been able to transform. You find there are group projects like Pigare, it is a web project. We have the Mioga, Women Entrepreneur. It is this community still. And we have even individual projects like from NADS, where we get mushroom. And these women, the transformation at least, especially for homestead wealth creation, bit of it, they've been able to start IGAs to support their homes and a steady income. And we already, we can even negotiate better prices for our produce who reach us and we even make schedules on who will do this in a certain time in order to, to keep our clientele. But if you inform a woman, you have informed the whole nation. And when women are informed, they embark on that project, they will accomplish it. They will make sure they come to the goal they wanted to achieve. So it is important that the government, or KCC in particular, makes it easy for the women at the grassroots to receive the information and also to teach them exactly what they are supposed to do. Or give, giving technical persons to help them in making these budgets or these proposals by the way, simplifying it for them so that they can access the money from Ministry of Gender. When the women are not, do not get 
proper and valid information. They always uh, miss out a lot, especially on uh, projects which are organized, uh, which are for them in a particular financial year. When these particular people, especially women, when they don't know, they come for children, our children miss a lot. They come for children, they come for youth, and it is, it is always the woman who can always mobilize or even motivate people to go and attend certain issues, especially when they come to, they come to work in the community for them. Because women are always the reference point. But when a woman does not know, they worry, they worry the whole community may miss out on certain issues. When you give information to women, you have given it to all the nation. And by the way, this woman has children, has grandchildren, has a husband, has a brother, has a sister. So the information will reach everyone in their community. And when we embark on something as women, we make sure we finish it. Thank you.